How's it going everybody? It's the man. The myth. The legend quad MFT here and in today's video I'll be bringing you actually somewhat of a really impressive gameplay. This is going to be over an 800 point score sharpshooter gameplay. Now you guys may not, not, it may not really translate to you guys knowing what really an 800 score point sharpshooter gameplay is. But let me tell you guys I go absolutely insane on these enemies. I go absolutely ham in the spawn and I just really tear it up the whole time. You can see right here in the first like 20-30 seconds I already have 110 points. I'm already on practically my specials bonus streak. I've already unlocked extreme conditioning lightweight toughness and the double xp i really like how they incorporate all these different perks i would like it so you could unlock more perks maybe a perk per kill and stuff I, I already think it's a perk per kill but maybe a perk every assist or something like that i don't know maybe two perks per kill or something like that just to make it so you would have all the perks in the game or something crazy like that because i know when i get on my big streaks and sharpshooter it's just totally a ton of fun and that's what i'm going to be talking about today with you guys i'm going to be talking about my favorite game mode in call of duty now I'm sure I've mentioned this in quite a few videos maybe even I probably done a commentary similar to this to bo before talking about sharpshooter and how it's probably my favorite Call of Duty gameplay and it's just really how I enjoy Call of Duty I mean now why I really enjoy playing so much sharpshooter is mainly because the fact sharpshooter it is different every time now why it's different every time is really it's just so different because you get different guns that you wouldn't use like you can see right now in the gameplay I'm using the XPR sniper rifle with the fast mag now realistically I would never ever in my life use the the XPR with the fast mag if it wasn't for if it wasn't for sharpshooter I mean good golly gee gumdrops guys I would never use the XPR and right here I'm using the type 25 with ACOG and I believe extended mags or something similar to that I don't even know why anybody would ever use this I mean honestly unless you guys are so, some sort of like ACOG specials or something like that maybe that's what you dedicate your Call of Duty lifestyle to completely only using ACOGs on assault rifles or something like that unless it was something like that I don't know why anybody in the world would ever use the type 25 with an ACOG Cog. And I know something a little bit weird in Call of Duty that I'm sure most people have probably noticed, but you realize that all the newer players, all the not really talented players, all the newer players who like to play Call of Duty, maybe maybe only once a month or whenever they have their friends over, they use some of the weirdest setups. I mean, honestly, guys, I just like to laugh of it and laugh at it every time. Every time I pick up a gun and the gun is just some completely random light machine gun with the target finder and suppressor and like the grenade launcher or something like that. I know you can't have a grenade launcher launcher on a light machine gun, but just to a crazy little setup like that it just kind of makes me chuckle a little bit let me it makes me laugh I just find it really funny how the noobs always use some of the worst setups I mean occasionally you find the noobs who find out find out a really really good setup and that's how some of the better people at Call of Duty find out the setup they see a noob user or something like that but some tips for sharpshooter that I would really suggest to you guys is to stick to one area that's how I really do it you can see in this gameplay we are playing on the map standoff and how I really made sure to pull off this win and pull off this win by a lot what I did was I stayed in this one specific area I stayed towards the left side of the map now why I stayed towards the left side of the map is mainly because I am really comfortable with the side of the map now a lot of people are comfortable with different sides of the map but I chose this left one because I spawned near it and you can see right when I spawn I went completely insane on the enemies. I had to make sure to m basically memorize where the spawns were. So what you want to do is every time you spawn in a different spot, maybe you die and you spawn completely across the map, remember where that spawn is. I mean, you don't have to remember always where all the spawns are. Maybe you're just too hyped up in the game and you're too lazy to remember the spawns or even try to remember the spawns. But if you can memorize most of the spawns on standoff, then you can, or on basically on any map, and right when you spawn, think of where another enemy is going to spawn right next to you because that one kill can give you toughness. And I'm sure you guys have heard this before from me quite a bit maybe even from a different few youtubers maybe even you figure this out by yourself or something like that but toughness it is definitely the best perk in black ops 2 if I can only have one thing with a gun let's say I'm using the PDW and all I can have is basically a two pick setup custom class I would choose the PDW and the toughness perk mainly because toughness it's just like the flinch proficiency back from Modern Warfare 3 where I, you don't really move nearly as much when you get shot and that is such a huge advantage guys it can really make it a win or lose situation in black ops 2 so definitely again there's a little tip for you guys. Always rock, rock in toughness. Black Ops 2. Always rock that. Again, guys, so make sure to memorize the spawns, basically where they're at. And if you don't know where they're at, just try and don't don't move too far because you don't want to be one of those people who just runs out right in the middle. Like, oh my gosh, where are all the noobs? Where are all the people that I can kill? Because honestly, you're going to be the one that gets killed in that situation. So try and memorize where you get killed from and try and memorize all the different play styles of the other people. I mean, honestly, you can't memorize all the different play styles of the other people. But I mean, it can help a little bit. And you can see right 
here in the end. I go absolutely ham. I'm already on a 10 gun streak with this MK48. I don't know why anybody would want to rock the extended clip on the MK48. I mean, the game, I'm sure the game randomly chooses it or something like that. But that's another thing that I really like about Sharpshooter. It introduces me to guns like the MK48. I mean, without Sharpshooter, I probably would never use the MK48. I'll probably have a few gameplays coming with it quite soon because I do really enjoy this gun. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to give me a big thumbs up down below. If we could try and hit 150 likes on this video, that'd be really cool. Again, comment down below telling me what your favorite game mode in Black Ops 2 is. Again, add this video to your favorites if it's one of your favorite videos. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure to go ahead and also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Also, go ahead and like my Facebook page. It's been Quantum FT, and I'll see you next time.